I am Teacher Mean. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. For this video, we are going to discuss about percentage, base, and rate. Bago natin simulan, let us first define what is a percentage, base, and rate. So, percentage means it is the number or the amount that represents a part of a whole. A base is the number that represents the whole or the entire amount. It is the number that comes after the word of. And the rate is, it is the number written with the percent or with the symbol percent. Okay, ang ibig sabihin ng percentage ay part lang siya ng base where in the base represents the whole. And then, when we say rate, that is the number with a percent symbol. How to identify the percentage, rate, and base? So let's have first the example. 105 is 50% of 210. So again, pag sinabi natin percentage, that is the part of the whole. We say rate, it has a percent symbol, and then the base represents the whole. So, in this case, 105 is 50% of 110. 105 here is the percentage. Why? It is part only of 210. To identify the percentage, it is located before or after the word is. So, 105 is. It is located before the word is. So, that would be our percentage. Basically, 50% is our rate because it has a percent symbol. And then, we have 210 is our base. So, basically, kapag a number comes after the word of, so that would be our base. How about example number 2? 5% of 2,000 is 100. So, I have 5% here, based on the definition, it has a percent symbol, so therefore, 5% here is our rate. How about 2,000? 2,000 here, it comes after the word of, so meaning to say, 2,000 here is our base. Next is 100. 100 is our percentage because it is the part of 2,000 or it comes after the word is. So, let's have an activity. Identify whether the following problems are looking for percentage, rate, and base by shading the square that corresponds to your answer. So, let's have the examples. 7 is 35% of what number? So, basically, 35% here is our rate. Okay? 7 is a number that comes after the word is represent by a percentage. So, therefore, our missing quantity would be the base. Okay, how about number 2? What percent of 16 is 64? Basically, in this case, what percent? So, meaning to say, percent here is our rate. So, the unknown value is the rate. 16 here would be our base and 64 would be our percentage. Next, how about number 3? 110% of what number is 660? So, again, 110% would be our rate because it has a symbol percent is 660. So, basically, it comes after the word is. So, therefore, that would be our percentage. So, therefore, the unknown value would be the base. Last example, 85% of 78 pesos is what amount? Okay, 85% here is our rate. Again, because it has a percent symbol. And then we have 78. It comes after the word of. 
meaning it represents the whole part, which is the base. So therefore, our unknown value is the percentage. Let us now solve for the value of percentage, rate, and base. To find the percentage or rate or percent in a given problem, we can use the Tetchens Triangle as a guide. So we have here, P represents percentage, B represents base, and R represents rate. So if we are going to find for the percentage, um, we are going to multiply base and the rate. So, using Tetchens Triangle, so, tatakpan lang natin yung P. So, B times R. Okay? How about base? Base is computed using the formula percentage over rate or percentage divided by rate. So, kung tatakpan natin yung base sa Tetchens Triangle, P over R. Next is rate. Rate is computed using the formula percentage over base. So, kung itatakpan natin yung R sa Tetchens Triangle, P over B. So, percentage divided by the base. So, let's have an example. 63 is N% of 252. So, basically, we have the unknown value which is percent or the rate. Why? Because we have the N percent. So, let us identify which is the base and which is the percentage. So, 63 is. So, 63 comes before the word is. Okay? So, that would be our percentage. So, again, when we say percentage, this is the part of the base. So, our base now is 252. So, titignan natin, we have base is also located after the word of. To find the rate, so let's have the Tetchens Triangle. We have the formula percentage over the base. Okay, let us now substitute the values to the formula rate is equal to P over B. So, we have now 63 divided by 252 times 100. Why times 100? Kasi this is rate, which is the percent. Okay? So, 63, 60, 63 divided by 252 will be 2,500 or 0 0.25 times 100. That would be 25%. Or, you are going to move the decimal point twice to the right. So, we have 1, 2. So, again, we have 25%. So, 63 is 25% of 252. Let's have number 2. 40 is 20% of N. Okay? So, 40 is located before the word is. So, therefore, 40 here is our percentage. Next would be 20%. So, 20% has a percent symbol. So, therefore, that would be our rate. Next is, our missing value is the base. So, again, using Tetchens Triangle, tatakpan lang natin yung B. So, we have P over R. So, base now, the formula in finding the base is P divided by R. So, percentage divided by the Rate. Substitute the given values to the formula P over R. So, we have 40 divided by 20%. So, 20%, gagawin natin siyang decimal number. So, how are you going to change a percent to a decimal number? So, uh, by moving the decimal point twice to the left. So, we have 1, 2. So, we have now 0 0.20 or... You can use 0 0.2. So, we have now 40 divided by 0 0.2. That would be 200. So, therefore, 40 is 20% of 200. Okay, we have example number 3. 80% of 290 is what number? So, 80% is our rate. Why? It has a percent symbol. Next is 290. 
290 comes after the word of. So, therefore, 290 here is the base. So, our unknown value would be the percentage. Okay? So, takpa lang natin yung percentage. So, the formula in finding the percentage is B times R or BR. So, base times the rate. So, if we substitute the given values to the formula base times rate, so that would be 290 times 80%. So, 80%, we are going to change it into a decimal number. So, by moving the decimal point twice to the left. So, we have 1, 2. So, we can use... So, we have now 0 0.80 or 0 0.8. So, we have now 290 times 0 0.8 is equal to... 232. So, therefore, 80% of 290 is 232. Next, how about example number 4? Anne's family spends 5,000 in the supermarket for their weekly consumption of 25% of his monthly family budget. How much is their monthly family budget? So, in this problem, let us first identify which is the percentage, base, and rate. So, basically, dito, 25%. 25% here is our rate because it has a percent symbol. Next, how about 5,000? 5,000 here is only the part of their monthly budget. So, therefore, 5,000 here is our percentage. So, therefore, the unknown value is the base, which is their monthly budget. Okay? So, ulitin natin ha. Let me say, uh, 5,000 here is their weekly budget which is the part of the monthly budget. Kaya, 5,000 here is our percentage. To find the base, we are going to use the formula P over R or P percentage divided by the rate. So, substitute the given values to the formula 5,000 divided by 25%. So, we are going to change 25% into a decimal number. So, that would be 0 0.25. We are going to move the decimal point to the left twice. Okay? So, we have now 5,000 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 20,000. So, therefore, their monthly budget is 20,000 pesos. Example number 5. John saved 6,750 in the past 4 months. If the bike he wanted to buy is worth 15,000 pesos, what percent of the cost of the bike he saved? So, we are going to find the percent of the cost of the bike. So, first thing to do is to identify the percentage base and the rate. So, tingnan natin na yung tanong na what percent of the cost of the bike he saved. So, therefore, the missing value is the rate. Okay? So, identify muna natin kung ano po ba yung 6,750 and 15,000. Okay? So, 15,000 here is the base. Why? Because it is the cost of the bike. Okay? So, that is the whole cost of the bike. Next is 6,750. So, ito yung 6,750 here is yung na-save lang ni John. Para mabili niya yung bike. So, yung tinatanong... Ilang percent lang na-save niya dun sa bibili niya mabay. So, using the formula, rate is equal to percentage divided by the base. So, substitute the given values to the formula. 6,750 divided by 15,000 times 100. Why? Because we are going to find the percent or the rate. So, 6,750 divided by 15,000 is... 0 0.45 or 45 hundreds times 100. So, we have multiplying 45 by 100 will give us 45%. So, therefore, the percent of the bike's amount that John saved was 45%.
percent. Next, how about example number six? In Punturin Elementary School, 45 percent of the grade six pupils are girls. If there are 1,380 pupils in the school, how many girls are there? Okay, so 45 percent here is our rate because it has a percent symbol. Next will be 1,380 pupils in the school. So, lahat ng grade 6 pupils sa Punturin Elementary School ay 1,380. So, ito yung kabuuan. So, therefore, that would be our base. Okay? So, ang tinatanong dito is what is the part of 1,380 are girls? So, therefore, we are looking for the percentage Using the formula, percentage is equal to base times the rate. So, substitute the given values to the formula base times the rate. So, 1,380 times 45%. So, we are going to change 45% in, into a decimal number by moving the decimal point twice to the left. So, we have 45% is now... 45 hundreds or 0 0.45. So, we have 1,380 times 0.45 is equal to 621. Therefore, there are 621 girls.